Shalom, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach, Dash. I want to give double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. I want to send uh, peace, safety, much love, and blessing to the Akim across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity and putting their life on the line to do so to you, brothers. I want to say Shalom. I'm the brother of rock back with another lesson through the spirit lord willing this lesson be edifying to an elect member or two uh in this lesson i'm going to go into this article that i ran across on the usa today uh i believe this article was was uh published today january 9th uh 2020 and it's entitled modern day debtors prison mississippi makes people work to pay off debt uh it says during her shift at a church chicken Anna uh, at a church's chicken Salaki Anna husband looked like the other employees. She wore the same blue and red polo shirt, greeted the same customers and slung the same fried chicken and biscuits. But after clocking out, husband, a mother in her 40s, had to wait for a white van with buried one with barred windows and the seal of the Mississippi Department of Corrections on its sides. It delivered her to the Flowood Restitution Center, a motel converted into a jail surrounded by razor wire, nestled among truck stops and outlet mall. Her husband slept in a room with seven other women sharing a mirror to get ready in the morning during during strip searches for contraband at night. A judge sent his husband to the restitution center in 2015 to pay off almost 13000 she owed from an embezzlement conviction in uh, 2019, uh, Salaki 2009. The corrections department would not release her until she earned enough money at her $7.25 an hour part-time job to clear her debts and cover eleven dollars a day for room and board at at Flowood. Now, this woman working on a seven twenty five an hour job, which is part time, I believe, uh, Salaki, which is a uh, minimum wage in certain states. She's expected working that job to pay off a thirteen thousand uh, dollar debt. Okay, which is damn near, not damn near impossible. It is impossible. She'd be working for the rest of her life uh, at a rate of seven twenty-five to pay off a thirteen thousand dollar debt, which is total wickedness. Okay, uh, and I'm pretty sure she has to pay for a, a number of other bills outside of the debt that she owes uh, to the state of Mississippi. Okay, now it, there's nothing uh, wicked about you know. Uh, holding someone to a debt all right you're supposed to pay your debt off um but when it comes to this particular situation basically a person has to be set up in a way in which it's possible to achieve or and basically they just getting years of free labor out of this woman because she like i said earlier she'll never be able to pay off thirteen thousand dollars debt working uh at a church's chicken man for 725 okay but like I said, you know, you have debt, you're supposed to pay it off. Um, not giving her a pass, but I'm just showing you how, you know, uh, the scriptures tell you in Isaiah, the 10th chapter, I believe it is, that uh, woe to them that uh, declare unrighteous decrees. Now, that's a total unrighteous decree for them to even expect this woman to pay off a debt of $13,000, uh, making minimum wage, uh, flipping chicken. Uh, frying chicken and, and, and flipping biscuits okay this is uh this is uh psalms chapter 37 in uh verse let's see 21 it says the wicked the wicked borrows and pay of not again but the righteous show of mercy and giveth okay so it says the wicked borrow and pay of not again. Now America <laughs> ran by Esau um, 
is uh, trillions of dollars in debt, okay? And they are expected not to pay their bill. But here it is. They're hanging over this $13,000 debt over this woman's head, you know, and, and holding her to it, making her pay, um, making her work to pay off the debt, you know, and incarcerating her uh, until she does so. Now, who's holding America accountable for the trillions of dollars of debt that they're in? Okay, that shows you the hypocrisy of this place. They could get away with owing uh, uh, trillions of dollars and, and expect not to be held accountable. But like I said, here they have this woman here in Mississippi with, with this damn unrighteous decree expecting her to pay off a debt, you know, um, that, she, that is fucking impossible. Okay, um, excuse my excuse my uh, my French. But um, it's 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 impossible, man, and that shows you the the wickedness of this of this uh, devil, okay. Um, uh, Psalms thirty seven and twenty one again. The wicked borrow Esau. That's how he got trillions of dollars in debt and pay off not again, but the righteous show of mercy and give him. So, you know, uh, it would be a righteous thing to. You know, show mercy to this woman and just clear the debt because it's damn near impossible to pay. Or, you know, if if she's not going to pay it off, let her pay her debt to society by just uh, serving out a, a jail sentence. OK. Um, and then, you know, clear to Lucky and just uh, clear of her debt, you know, in that manner. OK. Um, but we know Esau, he has, like I said, these unrighteous decrees that are set up. And I believe Mississippi is probably the only state, if I read in this correctly. Let me continue to read. Um, back into the article, it says, if I wasn't at work, I was in prison, her husband said. The correction department took her paychecks, she said, giving her back just $10 a week, <laughs> all in quarters, so she could buy things like soap and deodorant. And I tell you that ain't that ain't pure wickedness, man. They're, they're taking this woman's paycheck, making minimum wage, and giving her ten dollars a week. Nobody can live off ten dollars a week, man. Nobody. It says the state of Mississippi had locked husband into a modern day debtor's prison. She had other plans. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It says uh. Mississippi appears to be the only state where judges, and we know that's a sundown state, man. You know, I won't, I, if I was a Jake, I wouldn't even want to, you know, live in Mississippi if possible. Okay. Uh, it says Mississippi appears to be the only state where judges lock people up for an indefinite time while they work to earn money to pay off court ordered debts. While there is no comprehensive data, legal experts who Study fines, fees, and restitution. Say Mississippi is unusual at the very least. So, man, I gotta bring that out. <laughs> that's 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 crazy. Um, Isaiah ten and one. Woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. <laughs> No, hey man, I ain't, I haven't heard anything like this, man. Uh, this is the first, hey, but you know you can't put nothing past this devil. This is not even surprising. It says, um, reread that part. It says, uh, uh, Mississippi appears to be the only state where judges lock people up for an indefinite time while they work to earn money to pay off court ordered debts. While there is no comprehensive data of legal experts who study fines and fees, restitution say Mississippi is unusual at the very least. We don't know, and quote, we don't know of any other state that have a program quite like Mississippi's, said Sharon Burke, a senior staff authority with Harvard's Criminal Justice Policy Program. Okay, now, uh, man. <laughs> Isaiah 10 and 1, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, that write grievousness which they have prescribed. Okay. Proverbs 22 and uh, 7, it says, the rich ruleth over the poor, 
Esau eat them because he has and man Esau in the state of Mississippi is not hurt over a thirteen thousand dollar debt. Okay, all right, they'll live, man. They they making bukus of money, um, um, as a state and as a nation, man. But still, they have debts, you know, that haven't been paid. So reading again, uh, Proverbs twenty two and seven, the rich rule of over the poor, and the borrow, and the borrower is servant to the lender. Okay, so when you become in debt under this, uh, you know, this this wicked, wicked, wicked ruler Salakia, um, and rich ruling over you, you know, Esau ruling over you, you know, with a uh, with an iron fist, you know, uh, you you become servant again. Uh, to the lender, which is Esau Edom, but here it is. You can work a whole um, week to two weeks, sometimes a whole month, and the guy won't pay you. You know, until uh, a week out in the, a week in the whole two weeks or, or twice a month. However, this guy um, decides to pay you. Okay, that's why it says in Proverbs twenty-two and seven, the rich ruler over the poor and the borrower is servant to the lender. Because here it is, you know, you're supposed to get paid uh, for your daily bread. But Esau doesn't operate that way. That's totally against the scriptures. Uh, totally against the scriptures, okay? Um, stand in the book of Proverbs, uh, the third chapter, uh, 27 verse. It says, withhold not good from them whom it is due. So once you do your label, speaking about uh, Esau jobs, you know, and how he holds back, you know, the wages that you've earned for the day, um, which is which is very wicked. Uh, Proverbs 3 and 27, it says, With, withhold not good from them to whom it is due. So you've done your work for that day. You should get paid for it. You shouldn't have to wait a week, two weeks uh, to a month to get paid. OK, withhold not good from them whom it is due when it is in the power of thy hand to do it. So if you got the money, give it. Esau has the money to give to you once you work your daily bread, man. He can break you off. He has it, but he don't. Okay. It says, say not unto thy neighbor, go and come again. And tomorrow I will give when thou has it by thee. <laughs> that's, that's, that's Esau. Hey, work these 40 hours uh, a week and we'll have your paycheck ready for you Friday. When they already got the money, man, that's against the scriptures. Proverbs 3 and 27, withhold not good from them to whom it is due when it is in the power of thine hand to do it. Say not unto thy neighbor, go and come again, and tomorrow I will give when thou has it by thee. All right. So, you know, uh, just a quick lesson. Lord willing is there to find, you know, Esau and these unrighteous decrees and make somebody pay them with a seven twenty five uh an hour job and giving them ten dollars a week. That's man, all praise, glory, and honor to you. How about Shimmy How was shy by Shimra Kakodash. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom.